Hi all! Today I will tell you how to connect a 3-volt LED to a higher voltage. The one he wasn't designed for. I think many people know that if you connect an LED to a higher voltage, it will burn out very quickly. Either instantly or after some time. The operating voltage of 5mm LEDs is about 3 volts. But in addition to such a low voltage, it very often has to be connected to a higher one. To 5, 9, 12, 24, and even mains voltage. Now I will show an example for 12 volts, but the same calculations can be used for other voltages. The easiest way to lower the voltage is to put a resistor. It will limit the current strength, and a certain voltage will settle on it. But we do not know what resistance this resistor should be. To calculate this, you need to know how much current the LED consumes. Information about how much current an LED consumes can be found on the internet, or you can measure it yourself. From the power supply, I now applied 3 volts, and it turned out that the LED consumes 13 milliamps. If the voltage is raised further, then the brightness does not increase much, but the current consumption becomes very large. With such a large current, the LED begins to noticeably heat up. In this mode, it will work, but its life will be greatly reduced. Therefore, it is better to take a working 3 volts. Now you can do simple calculations and find out what kind of resistor you need. The power supply voltage is 12 volts. The LEDs are 3 volts. Subtract 3 from 12 and get 9 volts. This voltage must be quenched by the resistor. Then we take the current consumption of the LED, 13 milliamps, and convert to amps. It turns out 0.13 thousandths. Then we divide 9 volts by the current strength and we get 692. This will be the resistance of the resistor. Resistors for such resistance do not exist. Therefore, I will take from what is 680 ohms. It is not necessary to always take exactly the resistors that are obtained after the calculations. Resistance can always be taken either a little more or a little less. In my work, I usually take the current of the LED as 10 milliamps. The brightness of the LED does not change from this but the calculations are much easier to make. To extinguish 9 volts, you need a 900 ohm resistor. And to extinguish 1 volt, you need 100 ohms. If maximum brightness is not needed, then the resistor can be taken one and a half or two times more. Even when choosing a resistor, it is necessary to take into account its power. With a small voltage and current strength, you can close your eyes to this. For example, in our case, 9 volts fall across the resistor with a current of 13 milliamps. The power dissipated in the resistor is about one-tenth of a watt. That's not a lot. Almost any resistor will do. But if the supply voltage is much higher, for example, 42 volts, and the LED will be the same 3 volt, then 39 volts will have to be extinguished. We multiply 39 by 13 thousandths of an ampere, and we get a power of 0.5 tenths of a watt. That's quite a lot. Not every resistor will fit here. You'll have to take one or two watts. It is not difficult to guess that if you need to power the LED from the mains voltage, then the resistor will need to be much more powerful for a few watts. Now let's assemble the circuit and see what happens. Through a resistor, I powered the LED and applied 12 volts, and the current strength remained the same 13 milliamps. Nothing happened to the LED. You can measure the voltage with a multimeter. The total voltage is 12 volts, and only 3 volts come to the LED. The remaining 9 volts settled on the resistor. Now you can connect an LED to the battery and not be afraid that it will burn out. That's all for today. 
Put likes, subscribe to my channel, if not already subscribed, and bye-bye.